Yo, hi guys, uh, it's me again, the guy with the withdrawal symptoms. Um, yeah, the finals is still not out, guys, um, but today I got a little revolver video for you guys. Um, this was actually for my very first time playing the revolver, so I did suck a little bit at the start. And I did have an AFK teammate, as you just saw there as well, so uh, it didn't help too much either. But yeah, today I want to talk about my mid build. Um, actually, it's not even my favorite build, I usually uh, play the... Fikar or like Scar, whatever um, you want to call it. Um, but yeah, I really loved McCree in Overwatch. So I was like, you know what? Let's make a revolver video. Um, that's why I recorded this uh, back then. I was just obviously just wanted to, to try this out. Um, the upside that the revolver has is that it's kind of just like a better sniper rifle in most cases. Because the sniper rifle only one shots uh, the small dudes anyways. So I don't think it's necessarily that bad. Um, but another good question for this build is what else do you actually play with it? Oh my god, this guy with the sword here. He was so annoying. I made it out, thankfully. I think the jump pad is way too good, uh, especially if you play with another heavy in your team. Um, yeah, you just give them, give your teammate uh, movement for sure. So I think this is probably a must pick. I like the defibrillator, whatever it's called, like the insta -res. I think that one's also pretty good. Um, I personally did play the goo walls here. I know many people don't play this one. Um, so I'm curious what uh, what you guys uh, prefer on this slot. And uh, also what I played here, and I know most people definitely don't play that, is uh, the wall hacks. I'm showing some, some wall hacks uh, plays at the end as well. Yeah. But um, I, <laughs> I just didn't want to heal. Uh, the, the Mercy uh, heal beam is really, really, really good. Again, especially if you play with a, with a heavy. The wall hacks are pretty useful for defending points, that's for sure. Um, because you do have at least two teams uh, pushing you, three sometimes even if you do play tournament mode or ranked. And um, yeah, I think there might be a case where having having one wall hack uh, guy in your team isn't bad. But I think there's also like a, what do they call like a sauna grenades or some shit? I don't know which one, I think the heavy has it. Might be completely wrong, should have probably uh, looked into that. <laughs> but I can't because the game is down, guys. Um, yeah. I think wall hacks in general are useful, but the healing beam is probably better. Um, I've seen so many plays where just uh, heavy just ke keeps getting healed non-stop and it's just uh, completely unkillable. Um, but yeah, revolver. I don't think it's bad actually, like um, especially when I watch this gameplay. In mid range, it is pretty good. Uh, it's really good at peak fights, you know. I think that's also like why I use the, the goo walls, by the way, on this build because. Um, yeah, it just seems pretty strong to like uh, come out of cover, hit a shot, get back into cover, like you would normally play um, a sniper, you know? I think if I would have gotten a couple more games in, uh, I could have practiced this a little bit more as well. It's one of the things I really noticed playing the finals in general. You actually have to adjust so much depending on which weapon and which guy you play, especially uh, positioning wise. But yeah, this would just come with practice. And when the game's back up, I will actually be maining the mid guy. At the start, I only played the small guy with the sniper rifle, because in the game I come from, uh, I only play the sniper guy. My Ram Royale guys will be my mom. But yeah, I really enjoy having like a little bit more HP. And I honestly really, really like the Fakar. I, like, how do we pronounce this? F car? Let me just call it Scar. It's obviously a Scar. Let's just call it Scar. Made a little gameplay video on this one as well at the start. Definitely check it out. That was also my first round ever with the with the Scar. And easily uh, the best round I played yet in general in the finals. So if you guys are like me and want to see more um, the finals gameplay, check it out. I'm also, as you might have noticed, just desperately trying to pull content out of my ass to make a video. Because, man, I just want to get back into the finals. I want to watch the finals videos. I want to make the finals videos. I want to play the finals. Give me the game already said in my last two videos but i'll say it again guys the finals is definitely coming this year i'm pretty sure it's december sadly but they haven't announced the release date yet all we know is q4 this year so guys all we can do is wait patiently they have a couple uh clips to post at least but man i i can't believe i'm so addicted to the game i only played it for i think four days of the open meta but legit i just can't play another shooter at the moment i just can't it's not fun anymore i don't know what it is about the game that's just so addictive i think it's like this feeling of chaos so many games are just so predictable like you play around of apex you know pretty much what to expect you play around of like counter strike it's like 100 expected what's gonna happen but in the finals like you go in and suddenly there's a guy with a sledgehammer just destroying the whole building that you're defending there's fire there's gas all around you you don't have a single clue what's happening anymore and you have to defend the point from six people yeah i just need this chaos i need this also shooting just feels super satisfying and the rest of the abilities as well anyways guys hope you enjoyed the revolver gameplay i don't think i did too bad for like the very first time trying out this weapon
happen. Ah, yeah, since people always ask about my crosshair, I'm not promoting or selling anything, okay? I'm not like involved and don't have a creator code or some shit, but I just use uh, Crosshair X on Steam. I know there's like plenty of free versions of custom crosshairs everywhere, but the good thing about this one is uh, it's definitely whitelisted for everything on Steam because they're literally selling it on Steam. And I don't want to get fucking banned for using a uh, third party software while gaming, you know? I trust this one because it's specifically whitelisted for Apex as well, and Apex is super strict with shit like this. They have like a grand total of, I think, 10 apps you can run while you play Apex or you get banned. And this is one of them. This is why I initially got this. Yeah, I think this is definitely something they should do in the game as well. Like, this is such a competitive shooter with the ugliest crosshairs you can imagine. I don't know what the hell is going on with the basic one. It's insanely bad. Like, at least let me turn off Bloom and like maybe resize it because it's way too large. Anyways, uh, I digress. Guys, subscribe to the channel if you want to see the finals content. The moment the game drops, I'll be making actual content. Legit builds, sick rounds of gameplay, news, anything the finals, guys. I'm going to be posting it. But there's just nothing to do at the moment, okay? It pisses me off. Okay, thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys uh, hopefully soon. I want to play the finals. Goodbye.